There are claims tonight the mayor's plan to build a cruise ship terminal at the spit may be flawed because he's underestimated the depth of the seaway. The state government has vowed to dredge the area but hasn't promised to fund a terminal. Diver Ian Banks knows the seaway intimately. He's concerned Tom Tate has been ill-advised about its actual depth. West of the sandpipe, the depths uh, as shallow as two metres. Mr Tate has previously stated it's 16 metres, but this map shows otherwise. That information will affect how much sand needs to be dredged for a cruise ship terminal. The ongoing dredging that would be required to maintain the turning circle would probably outweigh a lot of the benefit of He's a good diver, so that's fantastic. Um, but I take my advice from uh, retired ship captains and, uh, and the cruise ship um, organisation. Mr Tate says he's waiting on the establishment of the Gold Coast Waterways Authority for advice. I just hope their studies are accurate. There's also concerns about the impact on seagrass. Marine life feeds off it. I weigh up this way. Some seagrass uh, versus uh, more jobs for the Gold Coast. Mr Tate's cruise ship terminal plan was a key election promise and despite Premier Campbell Newman's recent reluctance to allocate the funds, Mr Tate is still convinced he can deliver it in his first term. The sand is also playing havoc at Currumbin and extreme low tide has made the bar even more treacherous. Oh, but today it's point one, so it's certainly almost uh, ground level. Tessa Scott, Nine Gold Coast News. A multi-million dollar mansion on Hedges Avenue is being torn down in spectacular fashion. 